Hi, I'm James Pagaduan. Today, I'll be talking about organic electronics for delivering pain cancelling molecules, a collaboration between the Laboratory of Organic Electronics of Lynn Copping University and the Department of Clinical Neuroscience of Karolinska Institute, led by Professor Berggren and Professor Lindroth. The device is called Organic Electronic Ion Pump, which was used for the treatment of neuropathic pain in an animal model. This device is based on the principle of electrophoresis, the transport of molecules through a fluid or gel, under the influence of an electric field. What's uncommon is the use of conductive polymer, polyethylene dioxythiophene, blended with a polyelectrolyte, polystyrene sulfonate. For precise delivery of GABA or gamma-aminobutyric acid, the primary neurotransmitter in the central nervous system. GABA was used to treat neuropathic pain since after nerve injury, the amount of GABA is reduced in the dorsal horns corresponding to the injured nerve. The device was implanted onto the spinal cord of rats as shown in figure 2 and local delivery of the neurotransmitter was initiated at the exact place where the damaged nerves come into contact with the spinal cord. This means that the pain impulses never reach the brain. Highly localized delivery resulted in a significant decrease in pain response with low dosage and no observable side effects. This technology illustrates a viable alternative to existing pain treatments, paving the way for future implantable bioelectronics. Furthermore, many drugs provide their therapeutic action only at specific sites in the body, but are administered systemically in ways that cause the drug spread throughout the body, and this can lead to serious side effects. Local delivery from an implanted device may avoid these issues, especially if the delivery rate can be controlled according to the patient's need. Consequently, the doses of pain medication are relatively lower. Surely, the device gives hope to the 7% of the world's population suffering from nerve pain, for whom no other cure has been found until now. Currently, the device worked for rats and the next step is to refine it and test it using human subjects. Their work was supported by a grant from Vinova, the Swedish Governmental Agency for Innovation Systems, and by the Karolinska Institute Funds. According to the research group, the organic electronic ion pump could be in clinical use in 5 to 10 years. After that, the product can be manufactured, commercialized, and distributed. Competition is bound to arise and it will drive the innovators to differentiate or improve their product once more. Bringing the organic electronic ion pump to the Philippines will open up opportunities for collaboration among the Pain Management and Wellness Center, the academe, and the government, which may lead to the fine-tuning of the device to make it suitable to the country's needs. Furthermore, there are Philippines-based companies such as IMI and Ionix EMS Incorporated, which are capable of mass-producing world-class biomedical devices. However, these companies are just OEM, or original equipment manufacturers, which involve a subcontracting work under a global equipment manufacturer that usually has its own brand and design such as IBM. So we can start investing on this type of companies, and who knows, maybe one day the Philippines can have its own fully functioning implantable drug delivery industry or implantable device industry. And in the end, the overall healthcare in the Philippines will be improved. The opioid use in chronic pain management will be eradicated and there will be more effective treatment of prevalent diseases such as diabetes. Insulin can be supplied or delivered in the body regularly using a programmable implantable drug pump. I haven't seen a patent specific for this but this innovation is related to a patent named Iontophoretic Transdermal Drug Delivery System based on conductive polyaniline membrane. According to this, controlled release of an ionic pharmaceutically active ingredient is possible via iontophoresis through the skin surface of a mammal. The conductive polymer employed can be reused, eliminating the unstable silver anode of the traditional silver-silver chloride electrodes and lowering the overall cost. Just like the organic electronic ion pump, the current density as well as the drug release rate of the system can be controlled. According to this patent and the innovation of our interest, conductive polymers can yield satisfactory release data, which is indicative of a potential material for implantable bioelectronics such as drug delivery system. And that's the organic electronics for delivering pain-canceling molecules. Thank you very much for listening.